Hello everyone, Harris Mansur here. This is not a mobile version of Autodesk Revit or even Cloudworks. So this is just a customized um, ratio, screen ratio from my desktop. Anyway, what I want to share with you today is how you can actually work with the pipe fitters using the Cloudworks uh, for Autodesk Revit. So first I'm going to go to open an LGS file. Right, I'm going to use the same data set as previously you have seen in some of the demonstration. I'm going to go straight away to the top view and quickly find a rather challenging uh, pipes. Right, So I go and use the uh, box fence here. Just simply focus on that area. Now at this point, I'm going to combine with an Autodesk tool which is this selection box so that because I can immediately create or customize my view according to what I want. So I, at this point, I just go and do that and customize a few bit on the top, like so, until I can see what I want, right? So pretty much I want to go and focus on this area. So again, I just click on that, right? Customize it a little bit. Right, let's see the result. Yep, pretty much almost there. Just bear with me. Right, and there you go. Okay, so I hope you can see it clearly. And I can just bring it down a little bit. Just slightly more. So you can see that I actually want to focus on this band here. Alright, so um, just a little bit more on that area. Okay, so this is quite okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and straight away use this pipe fitters. Click on that. I get all this option. I'm going to use copper B. You can simplify uh, all the drop down list here. Click OK. Click on that. Um, Seed off point cloud and come up with list. I'm going to go with 65 uh, millimeter right, of the diameter and then I'm going to go click on this area here again i'm going to choose the same size 65 mm and i'm going to go and pick this one here all right so let me just try to get a better view pick on that i'll come out with the same um, menu so just pick and choose then uh, of course you i hope you notice there's a yellow lines here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the visual to somewhat um, more um, obvious I press SD so I can see it clearly All right no it's not a cut um, pipe actually I just bring it up so you can see it clearly now here's the trick so of course um, you can actually drag and you know try to press shift just to simply drag it along to the, I mean the line based on that uh, and angle and so on but uh, what you can do is actually by using this fitters connect system right so let me just go and do that by using this connect system I can just pick one and two and pop up with this menu I can just uncheck that now because what will happen is it will actually going to cut your pipe so that I can easily trim this I can press TR pick pick on that it immediately will create the elbow so the same thing here so I'm gonna go and click connect system one two right I'm not gonna create or insert any cross click OK delete the extension and do the trim one two that is how easy you can actually work with the pipe and you can see here i can change the rendering to intensity you can see the um, tool all right this features tool try to create as much as it can according to the point cloud data of course you need a better scan data from a better scanner such as like your system Alright, so I hope this is uh, beneficial for all of us. Uh, let me know if you want to know more tutorial. Alright, take care.